man, I had to shave my face because my face was itching, and now I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Also, if I sound sick, it's because I am. My daughter's in daycare, and um, she brings home like the flu or COVID at least once a week. So the whole the whole house is sick. Anyway, it's been a little bit since I just sat down and uh, talked to the camera. I um, said in a Geo Gusser video the other day, I was gonna. I was gonna make a video like this and um, discuss a few a few life events and changes that have um, that have happened recently. Normally, I'm pretty deep to myself. I just I leave things off of uh, the internet and and social media, but people will be asking questions. Uh, I'm sure um, in the future. So just gonna go ahead and explain things now. So first piece of news is, is pretty shit. Um, I hadn't, I was getting ready to um, announce that uh, my wife and I were expecting our second child um, this November. Um, we were expecting a, a baby boy and um, found out at a routine um, checkup that our child no longer had a heartbeat. Um, at 16 weeks so we had a a late term a late term miscarriage and obviously that was you know hard to to deal with it still is it's a very traumatic just experience um in general but um that that happened like i said you know uh, a couple of weeks back and that's that's something that my my wife and i are working through and trying to you know just really be grateful for the things that we do have. We have an incredible daughter and, um, you know, a lot of things going, you know, right for us. Doesn't, um, doesn't help the sting, um, you know, much, but we're trying to be grateful, like I said, for the, the things that we do have and all the blessings that we, um, have enjoyed, you know, in our lives. So there's that, that's the shit, uh, piece of news, but which leads me to my second, um, sort of change that's um coming you know my my wife and i for a couple of years had been talking about moving um you know and just kind of where we envisioned raising our family and and putting down roots and you know thinking about the the types of things that we are interested in in doing and pursuing with you know our kids um and we decided you know, like I said years ago that we didn't think Dallas was, was going to be the place or Texas was going to be the place. I like Dallas. It's just not where I want to spend the next, you know what I mean? 10, 15, 20 years. Um, it's just, it's just not, uh, for us. Um, but obviously the, the timing of it was, was tricky. Like when we wanted to move and we had originally planned on, listing our house for sale um this summer and then renting for probably a year until our next kid um was old enough to travel so he was going to be born in November and we'd probably wait until next summer you know when he's 6 or 7 months to get on an airplane and um and be able to actually you know travel but obviously with what happened um we didn't need to to wait on that so we took a trip uh one that we had already planned um to florida you know about a month ago and um while we were there we looked at some we looked at some spots we looked at, at neighborhoods and we actually came across a uh a place that we fell in love with um neighborhood that we fell in love with i'm not gonna tell y'all what the neighborhood is um but we loved it we put an offer on a house and um kind of a low ball offer honestly uh but to my surprise they accepted it <clears throat> but they accepted it contingent on uh, us being able to sell our home in texas within 30 days if anybody is paying attention to the real estate market you know that that's not an impossible task but it's 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 difficult so we got back we staged the home and again to our surprise, we were able to sell our house within 36 hours. Somebody came in with, you know, an offer and, and got it done. Um, and so that means we're moving. And actually quite a bit quicker than either of us had um, had really planned on. But, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not leaving Optic or anything like that. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm going to be further away and so I'll be in less content than I already am in um at the moment but you know I've been 
<clears throat> I'll always be an optic. It's like, it's, it's not just a, you know, I don't have to go into it. It's not just a team to me. I mean, that optic is, uh, truly like a, a way of life. It, it changed my life forever. It's, it's part of who I am. And so I, I will always consider myself to be an optic. I'm not joining any other orgs or anything, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's no, uh, it's no secret that I am just, you know, 10 years removed from competing in COD. I'm just not as intimately involved in the day to day, you know, happenings of, of optic as I, as I used to be. Um, which is, you know, that's just what time, that's just what time does. You know, I just have other interests and, and things going on and, you know, 10, 11, 12 years goes by. It's a long time. <clears throat> um, and so, yeah, nothing's really changing with, you know, from, from your end, I'm still going to be uploading YouTube videos, although it might be a little sporadic over the next couple of weeks as we, um, you know, get, get moved and everything, but I'm sure you can see all the, the artwork in the back for the last couple of days, you know, we've just been having to pack up the house and, and do a bunch of stuff, you know, like I said, more, more quickly than we, we kind of wanted it to, to happen. But, um, that, um, that's pretty much it. Those, those are my two, those are my two kind of announcements is we are, we are packing up and headed to Florida and hopefully we don't hate it. We'll see if we do might be right back in, in Dallas. Um, you know, can always sell a move again if we don't, uh, if we don't like it, but yeah, like I said, um, not leaving optic, but you know, podcasts and, and different types of content, I'll obviously be, uh, in less of than I am now, but Alex's family is, is still in Dallas. So we will still be here, um, multiple times throughout the year. And I would love to come on and, you know, shoot the shit and, and be in and content while I'm here. So, um, that's, that's pretty much all I got. I'm gonna be honest. I don't feel like talking a lot cause my throat hurts and it's, it's scratchy and I didn't sleep a lot, but I hope you, uh, are enjoying your Friday. Thank you all so much for tuning into the video and showing love on them. I gotta, I gotta get back to studying some, uh, some geo guesser. I think I'm going to play drug dealer simulator too, as well. I think I'm going to give it a shot. I played the first one. Apparently the second one came out and it's like on a, I think it's on a beach. It's like a Island, like reef type drug dealer, which if I was going to be a drug dealer, I'd be that kind. I love y'all know me. Y'all know me. I love the water. This is part of the reason we chose we chose Florida is, is being that close to the beach. Um, and so, yeah, I think I think I'm going to give that a, a shot. But GeoGuessr for sure, too. But um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Friday afternoon and I will catch you right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really.